vibrant! Can we agree that it's kind of funny that it happened to the Leafs? It, no, no we can't actually. Ah! Whoa, you serious? <laughs> Mind blown, we need idea. I'm dumb, deadly hard. Can we get to the game, please. Ah! Of course, of, of course, of course, of course. Leafs win 2 nothing. scribble, scribble. Leafs lose 3-2 to the Carolina Hurricanes in possibly, possibly the most leafy way ever. First of all, big injury to James Reimer 32 seconds into the game because of course. And of course, no suspension this time either because he was hit by his own player. With a multi-goal lead in the third period, the Leafs give up three unanswered goals. Sounds familiar. And of course, the game-winning goal was what it was because the universe hates the Toronto Maple Leafs and of course. I just... We recorded a brand new Steve Dangle podcast during the game, again, because we have to record at nights and sometimes you gotta record during the game. And we stopped recording during the third period when it was 2-1 Leafs, so we're like, alright, we'll stick around, we'll watch the end of the game, why not? Hurricanes tie it up, we slap our foreheads a little bit, but whatever, and then that goal happens. My co-host Adam Wilde and I just kinda looked at each other and turned the mics back on. And, as often happens with me and the Leafs, proceeded to yell and scream. Now here's what sucks about the yelling and screaming. You can't be mad at the refs because, in fact, that should not have been an icing call. It was Bernier screw up. Bernier, evidently human, and I think the NHL should punish the LA Kings. We find out he's human, but I was under the impression he was not. I thought he was some otherworldly alien cyborg thing that is just the wickedness all the time. Did the Leafs not even conduct a physical? What planet are you from, Earth, that didn't raise any red flags? Do you send him back until the Leafs get a cyborg? Seriously though, it was Bernier's screw up. However, let's just, can we, please make it no touch icing already, please? Most other leagues worldwide use it, but for some reason the NHL has got to be all difficult. They use no touch in Major Junior, like half the league comes from Major Junior, and then when they screw up an icing or now a hybrid icing, we go, why don't you get it? Well, because it's kooky and dumb and get rid of it. Whatever, don't want to whine too much, of course, because a bad thing happened, the Leafs don't want to seem biased, but before that goal ever happened, long before it ever happened, I've been a proponent of no touch icing. Now the Reimer injury, Oh no. Now this LFR video is a little late because I wanted to wait and see what the Leafs did with Reimer at practice today. We talking about practice. Because after the game, Carlisle said we expect Reimer to practice tomorrow and I was ready to just hellfire and brimstone. Because if you have the time, I have a link down below, an article from Jeffler on how the Leafs have just horrifically mismanaged head injuries over the last few years. Maybe the most glaring mismanagement was James Reimer, and then they're like, oh yeah, he'll practice tomorrow, I'm going, are you thick? But it looks like they got Bernier and a U of T goalie in practice, which has got to be really cool for the U of T goalie, so... Now, regarding Reimer, um, I've heard some people talk about, oh, of course Reimer's hurt, and he's injured again, and he always gets injured. Dean McCammond had a great quote a few years ago. He got Superman checked in the head by Steve Downey, but McCammond had had several concussions before. And a reporter asked, do you think you're prone to concussions? And McCammond responded, no, I think I'm prone to traumatic blows to the head. James Reimer took a knee to the head. That doesn't make him a sweetheart, that makes him a creature on Earth with a skull and a brain in it. But there was one quote from this past summer that I just couldn't get out of my head. It's from a Steve Simmons article and he cites a Leafs insider that said James Reimer treats the common cold like it's knee surgery. Which to me just sounds like they're frustrated because they don't know how to deal with injuries properly so let's blame it on the guy who got hurt. So based on that quote and now after the Leafs have gone out and got another goalie in Jonathan Bernier, I'm curious to know what the team thinks of this. Just a little correction to something I said earlier. I said Reimer won't be taking part in practice. That's what it looked like but I'm just reading on Twitter now as I'm editing this, uh, Reimer's on the ice, so hopefully he's okay, that or the Leafs haven't learned a damn thing. But of course, last night wasn't all bad news, right? Joffrey Lupul scored again, preggers, and he's got nine points in eight games. And even though he was the one that collided with Reimer, it's not like you can blame it on him, had a great game and his first career NHL goal, Joshua Levo. Just before the Leafs season began, on theleafsnation.com, we did profiles on each of the Leafs' top 20 prospects, as ranked by us. We ranked Levo 7th overall. I ranked him 2nd overall and 1st among forwards just behind Morgan Riley. I think he's damn good. And he just smoked Andre Sakara, I think it was, on that play. And then, ah, 
Snipe. Oh, I just, oh, I love, I love this kid. This kid, he's a good Canadian kid, this kid. And after the game, you see him on Leafs TV doing a post-game interview with Paul Hendrick. Just scored his first career NHL goal in a call-up and doesn't even look happy because his team lost. And that's the kind of kid you want on your team. He's a team player, plays for his team, and he's a good player on his team. And Levo, all credit to Brian Burke because he wasn't even ranked by NHL Central Scouting and the Leafs picked him in the third round in 2011. He had a very hot second half in his draft year, really hot playoffs, and the Leafs took a flyer on him. Next year, great. Year after, great. Now he's with the Leafs. Also a Burke 2011 pick, picked in the sixth round, Dave Brohl also played in this game. Burke, we're starting to see some of his draft pick work come into life. Because, and it's a shame for Burke, draft picks take time, and really all we saw was Kadri. So two questions of the game. How would you rank Burke's draft record with the Toronto Maple Leafs? Let's go by the old ABC school rank. And this damn icing debate, would you like it to go back to touch icing, keep it at hybrid icing, or make it no touch icing. Put me under the votes for no touch. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out the new Steve Dangle podcast on iTunes. We did one on Tuesday and Thursday, very close together. Lots of content and goodness. Once again, we cracked the top 10 Canadian sports podcasts on iTunes. Help us get right back. In the most recent episode, we talk a lot of Leafs, obviously, Reimer, Bernier, the Oilers, all the Yakupov rumors, Gene Simmons for some reason, and a whole lot more. Subscribe on iTunes subscribe on SoundCloud, tell your parents. And for listeners of the podcast, I'm pretty sure Adam's going to tell the story of his uh, accident live on air on KISS 92.5 today. So listen to that on the radio or on KISS92.5.com. I'm Steve Dangle. Thank you for watching. I'm out.